What a suit. The blue pinstripe. I really like that suit, I have to say. It's one of my favourite ones. I've worn it a couple of times. Usually I don't wear them multiple times after, but this one I wore. When I knock people out, they don't move. They're not gonna, who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the f is that? <laughs> I, I, of course, I knew who Jeremy was. You know, Jeremy was a good fighter. Um, was a former lightweight then down into the featherweight division. Good power in his hands. But <laughs> the timing was just impeccable there, and that was it. <laughs> you don't really think about these things. You just go off the cusp and just have a bit of fun in there, right? I was in a great spot there, just just uh, avenged my loss against Nate Diaz. A lot of hard work went into that. And then I was, you know, uh, I was preparing for the second world title bout and I was just in a great spot mentally and physically and, I don't know, I just rolled up the tongue and clattered old Jeremy into the cheek. <laughs> if Dana rang you and said, you don't have to fight Cerrone, you can fight McGregor, even though Cerrone was still fit, would you take it? You're damn right you take Of it. course, man. Easy because money. <laughs> he had the opportunity, El Rafael, didn't he? But he didn't take it. Well, he took it, but he didn't make the walk. So, you know yourself. He just saw a foot. I had one of them recently as well. So he still made the walk. So. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. So don't say you would not take that fight because you would take that fight like everyone else up here would take the fight against me if it was offered, regardless of belts or any of that shit. I'm the money fight in the male, male at all weight division, so everybody else up here. As, it's as true now as it was back then, you know, it's probably even more true now. You know what I mean, I have to build myself into a position and that's a good thing, I was not lying, I, don't, I do not lie. Oh, I teed him up so nice. I put the feet up, then he mimicked them and he put the feet up, his hands were nowhere to protect the belt and I just smashed it off the table. Another good buzz, that was in my hometown, Dublin, Ireland, what a buzz, it's the first time we'd had something of that magnitude in Ireland, right? We had the undefeated champion, Jose Aldo, undefeated in 10 years, the only UFC featherweight champion, a mega star, and then me on the rise and from the hometown. Good times again, good times. Coaches kids do tutu on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So I, 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 I'm a, you're a credit to the community. <laughs>